few months ago, I started creating a new project called Pixel Dojo. The mission was really clear and simple. I wanted to make all the latest cutting edge AI tools as accessible and easy to use as humanly possible. The idea is that generating beautiful, stunning AI art like this should be easy to do. And today I think we're one step closer to that. I'm gonna show you this brand new tool that I just launched last night. It's called Image Dojo and it takes all of the guesswork out of creating prompts, probably one of the most difficult and time consuming things to do when you're trying to generate AI art. Let's jump in and take a look. Straight from the dashboard, you can see up here right in the center, try Image Dojo now. It's also over here in the main menu under Experiment. I have it under there because right now this is an experiment that I wanna get some feedback on. So if you go over to Image Dojo Alpha, it's gonna load up this really simple user interface. And the idea here is that you just describe the image you wanna create and you can use as little or as much detail as you want. So I could say something like red Ferrari in Porto. Porto is a city here in Portugal, and so it's kind of close to my heart. Go ahead and send that off. And what it's gonna do is use an AI model on the back end, as you can see here, and it's gonna create a better prompt that's gonna return a better image. So in this case, red Ferrari in Porto, a stunning red Ferrari parked on a picturesque cobblestone street in Porto, Portugal. The scene captures the beauty of the classic architecture, and it goes on and on. You can see right under it, now it's gonna use that new prompt that it created to actually generate an image. But it gets way cooler than that. Let's see when the image comes back. And here's the first image that comes back. You can see it's really beautiful. It's in a nice setting. That's definitely Porto. You can tell by the background and all the cobblestone streets and everything else. It looks really awesome. Now what you can do is you can come in here and simply start refining the image. Normally, as you know, if you provided a prompt this vague, you wouldn't get back a very good or very high quality image, but that's not the case here. So we could say, I want a blue car instead. And you'll notice I didn't mention that the car was a Ferrari or anything else. It automatically knows because what it's gonna do is it's gonna take all of the context that we've already provided it. So it's gonna be in Porto, Portugal. It's gonna be a Ferrari. And you can see here's the refined prompt that the AI model has come up with. And here's the refined image. Now you've got the same setting in Porto, Portugal, same cobblestone street, but now you've got a blue Ferrari. Really, really cool, but it goes even further than this. I could continue enhancing this and refining the image just by having a natural language conversation, or I can also just click on the upscale button. This is gonna automatically run through the creative upscaler that we have built into Pixel Dojo and upscale the image to double the resolution. You'll see that in just a second. Now we have this beautiful before and after that we can check out. You can see all the extra detail in the cobblestone streets, the people's faces and the background and everything else is more refined. And this is getting more kind of photographic quality. Now, every time you do one of these, it's gonna automatically get saved into your My Images section. So if we head on over to here to the Explore tab, and we click on my images, and I'll just load this in a new tab. We're gonna see that when it loads, you're gonna have that image of that blue Ferrari that we just created over here. Now you can go ahead and you can make that public so the entire world can view it. And then you can jump over here and go to the community gallery and everybody in the world can now view this image. And you still get that nice image slider so people can see the before and after and the extra quality. People can vote and up like this, or you can also view your entire personal gallery. You could set up a profile on Pixel Dojo, and then it's gonna have your own images all in your own private gallery. You can grab this link up here at the top of the screen, and you can share this out on social media or anywhere else that you'd like to. Now, back to the editor, starting a new chat or a new conversation is as easy as just clicking on the new button. Then we can start again, and you'll notice one more time, I'll keep repeating this because it's such a big deal. If you put in such a vague prompt before, you'd get back really bad, low quality results. So we'll do another super vague one here. We'll say a European woman. And as you know, you get back kind of wild card results before, but now it's gonna say, create a detailed portrait of a European woman standing gracefully against an elegant backdrop. One of the things you'll notice, it describes the backdrop. It describes the lighting conditions and everything else. And you can see here that the image that comes back is really high quality as a result. And you could say something like, I want the woman to be in 
the city. And so now it's gonna take all those same prompts, all that same information, and it's gonna change her to being in the city. Now, one of the things I'd like to do next is add in all of the other Pixel Dojo tools into this chat. So right now I just have the image creator and I also have the upscaler, as you saw. But we can add in things like consistent characters, pose control, even image lighting. Those are all coming soon, but with this same sort of conversational workflow. Let's say we like this image, but I'd like her to be in a white dress. So we can say, make her dress white. And the prompt that comes back, you can see it denotes it as enhanced prompt. And then you'll see down here, it'll say that it's a white dress instead of this sort of, no, there we go. This came back before I could even finish speaking there. So now she's still standing in a European city and now she's wearing a white dress instead of that blue dress. And you can continue to refine as you go or again, you can click on the upscale button and just simply upscale your image and get that high quality version that'll save to your gallery. Here we go and we can see the nice before and after. One of the things this really does well that I love about the upscaler is that it doesn't change the look of the person too much, but it really refines their face. Sometimes stable diffusion and other models like that come back with a little bit distorted features in the face, so it's really nice to get those extra details like that. I think you can see I've been hard at work over here at Pixel Dojo, and one of the things I wanted to note, this isn't free, it is a paid subscription to use this service, and that's because I'm covering the cost of the GPUs, all of these AI models, stable diffusion, everything else, cost a tremendous amount of money to run in the cloud. I'm trying to keep this as inexpensive as possible, and have as much value for the end users as I possibly can pack into this thing. If you check out the Discord, you can talk to other customers and you can see that I'm adding new features and functionality almost daily to this thing based directly on customer feedback. So check it out. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, I'm Brian and we'll catch you next time.